Today we're going to learn a fiddle tune called Bilem Cabbage Down. Now wait, Mrs. Capaletti, I've already learned Bilem Cabbage Down. Well, that's true in a sense. You've learned the pizzicato rendition of Bilem Cabbage Down. But today we're going to learn the full-fledged fiddle edition of Bilem Cabbage Down. Here's what it'll sound like when you're finished. In order to learn the fiddle tune, we need to learn it in four steps. The first step is learning the notes, which you already have learned, if you can remember them. F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D. Sing it with me this time, here's your starting pitch, ready, go. F sharp G, F sharp E, F sharp G, F sharp E, D. Right, and that's the structure to the fiddle tune. If I do just those notes, it sounds like this. just those notes, it sounds like this. Everybody find F sharp on your instrument, F sharp. Get ready for a down bow, one, two, ready, go. Let's do that once more. Get ready for a down bow. Find F sharp on your instrument. F sharp. Ready, go. Okay, now you know that it's F sharp G, F sharp E, F sharp G, F sharp E, D just like it was before, but now we're going to change the rhythm just a little bit. For each of the notes in the beginning, you're going to do a bowing that's down, wiggle, up, wiggle. So your bowing again is down, wiggle, up, Wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle. Let's try that. Let's do an air bow over our instruments and see if we can get the down, wiggle, up, wiggle. Ready, go. Down, wiggle up, wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle down, wiggle up, wiggle. This time we'll do down wiggle up wiggle on the open D string. Try and track with a straight bow. One, two, ready, go. the hang 
of it, down wiggle, up wiggle is what you'll do with your bow the whole time. So let me play the song for you once more. Here's Bile and Cabbage Down with the two parts that we've learned, the notes and the down wiggle, up wiggle. play through that again. I would like you to air bow and ghost finger along with me, which looks like this. I'm going to put the bow under the crook of my arm for violins and violas. Trolls and basses, you'll do what you just did and just keep the bow over the strings, not on, but over the strings. And what I'd like you to do is put your left hand down on the tapes as you play. So you're going to go F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. And you're going to ghost finger an air bow along with me playing the melody. Ready? Get ready with an F sharp ghost finger. Get ready with your air bow. One, two, ready, go. and tell me what happened at the end of the song. Let me demonstrate the end of the song one more time. raise their hand and tell me what happened at the end of the song. Right, at the end of the song, we have a down wiggle for F sharp, an up wiggle for E, and a down wiggle for D. And finishing with one note. So down wiggle E wiggle Done. Let's all practice that part ghost fingering and air bowing together. Starting with F sharp, one, two, down bow, go. Ghost finger and air bow once more, starting with F sharp. Let's finish the song. Ready, go. Bass's Violin Cabbage Down is a unique song for you because in order to play the melody, you'll have to do some shifting on your D string. You can't use open G because later we'll use two strings at once and you won't be able to do that if you use open G. So, you'll have to play F sharp fourth finger. Then you're going to shift up your whole hand half a step. the silver tape, that's G, then shift back half a step, shift up, shift back, okay, so I'm going to go through that again, basses, you have F sharp, G, that together. Ghost finger this time basses. Ghost finger along with me starting with F sharp. Ready, go. F sharp. G. F sharp. E. F sharp. G. F sharp. E. D. Okay, so as you play 
play through, you will have to shift half a step to G and back to F sharp. The reason why we do that is we have to do tunneling. And you'll be playing your open A string with the D notes. So when you were playing those double stops, you'll have to stay on the D string in order to play both strings. All right, once more through the whole song, air bow, ghost finger, and if you get it perfectly, I'll let you play with me next time. Ready? Air bow and ghost finger. One, two, ready, go. Before I let you play, who can tell me what I'm doing with my bow? What can you see that's very clear as I play with my bow? What about the wiggles? Where do they happen? Right, at the tip and at the frog. At the tip and at the frog. So the wiggles are happening at the tip and the frog. So I'm using the full bow, doing a little wiggle, using the full bow and doing another little wiggle. Make sure you're doing the same thing this time as you put the bow on the string and get ready to play Bilem Cabbage as a class. Ready? Starting with F sharp, I'll give you an intro and then you come in. One, two, ready, go. job. This time, bow on the string, and we'll play together basses. Ready? F sharp. One, two, ready, go. That's it. Nice job, basses. Let's practice that again. Put your bow near the frog so you're ready to pull a full bow straight and steady as we play Bilem Cabbage Down starting on F sharp. One, two, here we go. Okay, you've learned the first real step of the song, which is playing the notes and rhythms on one string. However, for Bilem Cabbage Down to sound like this, we have a few more layers to go through. The next layer is playing both strings at once, playing the D and the A string together. In order to do that, you have to change the angle of your bow slightly so that the hair of the bow rests on both the D and the A string at the same time. Now mind you, this is intentional. This is something you're trying to do. So make sure that the bow hair rests on both the D and the A string. It's a very tricky thing to figure out and to get right, but with practice, you'll get there. Let's try and pull one long bow together. You try. Try and keep the D and the A steady the whole time, both playing. Try an up bow.
Okay, ready? Now we're going to do the down wiggle up wiggle rhythm on our D and A string. Sounds like this. Join me, one, two, ready, go. Remember your wiggles happen at the frog and at the tip. You'll notice that moving the bow faster and pushing harder will give you better resonance. Try again, one, two, both strings, go! got practice using both strings, you may not be perfect at it, that's fine, it's just about experimenting for now, but now that we have practice using both strings, we have to add our D string notes back in. The trick here is creating a tunnel with your fingers so that you could see through it and make enough space that the A and the D can resonate at the same time, okay, so it'll sound like this. can see the bow right through my tunnel. If you find you're not having very much luck with tunneling and that your fingertips are touching the A string on accident, something you can do is go to tippy toe fingers so that just the tips of your fingers are touching. That won't be helpful if your fingernails are really long, so you'll need to make sure that those are cut short. But you can go to tippy toe fingers. The other thing is, instead of having the thumb up quite as high as you normally do, you can slide the thumb slightly to the side so that it allows your hand to reach over just a little more easily and make that tunnel. Now granted, violinists and violists, you don't want your thumb behind the neck like the cellists have it, but you can drop it slightly to rock your hand over. Another thing you can do is try and play on the side of the D string rather than right directly on top of it, and that will give you a little room too in case the tips of your fingers are a little pudgier. Okay, so we're gonna get our tunnel ready. Just try and play F sharp and A. Let's practice the song together on both strings. Ready? One, two, ready, go.
Good once again. One, two, ready, go. Once again, one, two, ready, go. Wonderful job. Okay, the first two steps are finished. We have the notes and rhythms and we have the tunneling on both strings. Now we're going to move on to step three. This is where it gets a little more stylistic, where you're really going to start feeling that it's a fiddle tune. And this first one will really throw you in the mood. So we're going to learn how to slide our fingers. It's called a slide, sounds like this. So when you do that slide, you're really giving that introduction of it's a fiddle tune. Mm-hmm. Start that bottom cabbage down. Okay, so we're gonna slide up. Now, how we do that, you put your first finger on the red tape, and violins and violas, you're gonna put your second finger right next door, tippy toe fingers right next to it, and you're gonna slide. This is called F natural. <laughs> It's a half step. You're gonna start with F natural squished right next to first finger, and you're gonna slide up to F sharp. Okay? So when you play, you start lower in F natural tippy toe fingers, and you slide up. So you're sliding from F natural to F sharp at the beginning, okay? Cellists, you're going to go F natural with three fingers, which we never do in classical music, but in fiddle music, it's okay. So you're gonna put first finger on red tape, you're gonna squish second finger right next to it, you're gonna squish third finger right next to it, and then you slide to F sharp white tape. So squish, squish, and you slide to F sharp. Squish and slide. Same thing for basses. You're gonna put your first finger on red tape, then two, three, and four all squish together, which we never do in classical music, but we're gonna do in fiddle. And then you slide to the white tape. Okay, so you're sliding. Put your first finger on red tape, squish, squish, squish. Okay, and you play that F natural. All right, with the slide this time. One, two, ready, go. Wonderful. Set up for F natural again. Tippy toe fingers, violinists and violists. Everybody else squish those fingers together. One, two, ready, go. Great.
Now finally we're going to add the last step and this is the one that really gets you up and out of your seat and wanting to dance. Okay, So for a fiddle tune we'd like to put emphasis on certain beats in order to tell the dancers when to move. So when I play it like this you might start to get a rhythm and feel like yeah I could dance to that, that's cool, but when I put in the emphasis or the accent on certain parts, you'll really feel when to step and when to dance. Did you feel it? Try and move this time, along with the music. Ready, in. Now that bowing is actually still your down wiggle up wiggle. It's just down wiggle up wiggle. So the w of wiggle is emphasized. Down wiggle up wiggle down wiggle up wiggle. See if you can say that with me. Ready? Ready go. Down wiggle up wiggle down wiggle up wiggle down wiggle up wiggle down wiggle up wiggle. Yeah, make sure the emphasis on the w of wiggle. Yeah, listen to this one more time. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hear the w and the wiggle? So that's the next step. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to practice that on your own and see what you have to do in order to get that oomph on the note, okay? And we'll visit back and see afterwards what you had to do in order to get that w in wiggle. How did it go? What did you need to do in order to get the w in wiggle? That's called an accent or an emphasis. How did you get an accent or an emphasis to come out of your instrument? So there are two major factors when we're talking about emphasis. It's more speed and more weight. When you pull your bow faster and you push your bow harder, then you get that oomph that you need for the fiddle tune. The last thing you can learn when playing a fiddle tune is a tag or an ending. Listen to me play Bile and Cabbage this time and I'll add a tag at the end of it. a tag. I'm going to teach you this one. It's called shaving a haircut. So I, the teacher, will play. Then you, the student, will stomp and then you play C sharp D. So C sharp D. That's what you're playing. Okay, ghost finger. See if you can get it. And do the stomp. Ready? C sharp D. Now to add a little more country flair to the very end, you can slide from C natural to C sharp, just like you slid from F natural to F sharp. So you're squishing your fingers together and then sliding. 
you can slide, okay? So here's the tag, get ready, bow on the string. Don't play until those last two notes, C sharp, D. And don't forget that fiddle stomp, okay? Here we go. Did you get the stomp? Try one more time. Stomp. Last time. Okay, nice job. Now we'll play the melody once together as a class before we separate back to our bass pizzicato harmony. Here's the melody, ready? A one, a two, a one, two, ready, go. Alright, now that you've learned the parts, basses, I would like you to play your harmony slap pits, violins, violas, and cellos. I would like you to play the melody with me. And we're gonna start super turtle speed. Ready to slide from F natural to F sharp? One, two, ready, go. Again, super turtle speed. Get ready to slide F natural to F sharp. One, two, ready, go. Pick up the pace a little bit, get set with F natural, sliding to F sharp. Nice job, basses. Here we go. A one, two, ready, go. Nice job. Once again at that speed, get ready to go. One, two, ready, and... Wonderful. Now this last time, I'm gonna play super lightning speed. If you can keep up with the teacher, good for you, you get your gold star for the day. And if you can't, you get a gold star for trying. Everybody try, here we go. Ready to slide from F natural to F sharp. Oh, one, two, ready, go. Nice job, orchestra. Ask yourself, can I play Bilem Cabbage Down with real fiddle flair? Did I get the down wiggle, up wiggle bowing? 
Did I get the down wiggle up wiggle bowing? Do I know what a slide is? Could I explain it to my partner or show them? Do you remember the lyrics to Bilem Cabbage Down? Can you tunnel and play two strings at once? Was your bow hold correct throughout the entire exercise? Did you have a mountain thumb? Violinists and violists, were your pinkies curved gently sitting on top of the stick? Would you be interested in learning more fiddle tunes in the future?